and welcome. It's the Game Trainer. My name is John. Um, we're going to be doing a quick teach of Ticket to Ride. It's a very, very fast teach. Um, and then particularly Ticket to Ride Europe, which is the version of Ticket to Ride I've got here. And then um, following this, I'm going to do a playthrough, um, the four or five player playthrough. Um, so the first thing you want to be doing is obviously laying out the boards, giving people, giving each player their colour, putting a token on the hundred space, which is the zero. Okay, per player. You then deal out the train cards, and there's various different colours, and I'll keep one of these, I'll keep that one aside to explain. Um, you, you deal four to every player, and then deal out five along the side of the board, and then you make the rest a draw stack. Okay. I've just kept this aside so I can explain its significance. You then have a score reminder card. Okay, this is so then players who are kind of upside down can have the scores facing them, and a longest route. In this game, it's called the European Express, but it's the longest route card, which is an additional 10 points for the player with the most continuous longest route. Okay, um, out of the ticket deck, which they all have ticket on the back, you need to remove six blue tickets, and they all have 20 or 21 points. You shuffle those up and deal one of those per player. Okay, these are your long route tickets. And any remaining go back in the box without seeing them. Okay. You then shuffle the remaining tickets. These all have a red number, okay, and these are all much more smaller valued tickets, and then you deal three to each player. Okay, I'm just gonna go, I'm just going quickly here. So we can keep this short and sweet. Right. Each player will then choose, I won't do it on camera, but each player will then choose up to a minimum of two, but up to four of these tickets. And these tickets all have various cities, pairs of cities, and if you connect them with your trains by the end of the game, you will score those points, and if you don't, you will lose those points. So this is where choosing tickets wisely takes a lot of skill. Okay. And then Ticket to Ride plays very, very simply. You'll do one thing in your turn, and then somebody else will go. And you'll get um, an opportunity to, first of all, take cards from, from, the, from the, um, the, 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 kind of the, the flop, for lack of a better word, um, from the display. Um, and you get to take up to two cards. So if you take one card, and then it'll be immediately replaced with another card. And there's a locomotive. Okay, now if I had taken a locomotive, I that's that's my draw. I don't take anything else, and then it gets replaced. Okay. Um, if I've already taken a card, I then can't. I can't take a, a locomotive. I can take from the draw pile, and if it is a locomotive, obviously no one knows because it's in my hand. I can still draw. That's not an illegal move. If at any point there is three locomotives. The whole thing, the whole um, display gets removed and then five new cards comes out, okay? And that can happen between draws if you, if you are if you're so lucky, okay? So that's the first thing you can do on your turn. Um, and once you've done, once you've taken your cards, it's then the next person's turn. On the following turn, or if you decide to do something else, you could play two cards, you, well, you can play any number of cards to fulfill a route. And a route is, um, are these spaces here between two cities, okay? And if it's got a colour, you have to play cards that match that colour, okay? Um, and so then at this point, I would then score two points for placing a two track. And the scores go up significantly more for every um, everyone. So for, eight, for an eight train track, for an eight train lay, I would get 21 points. For six, I'd get 15 points, okay? Um, the gray spaces can be any color, but they have to be all of the same color. So I could lay here with these two blue, to use the same example, and I'd get the same points. Okay. If I had a locomotive card, I could use a locomotive card in place and I could then lay a three track. Um, I can't see a three track right now. I could lay a three track 
um, somewhere. And that could be three on a blue or, oh yeah, there's a blue over here. So I could lay three on the blue over here, or I could lay three on the gray, okay? In Ticket to Ride Europe, there are some special extra types of track on the board. You have the ferries, which take, they have a certain number of empty gray spaces, and then a certain number of train spaces and so for example here i could place two blue and a train to lay these three down okay or between amsterdam and london i could lay i could play two locomotive cards which are the wild cards to do that and then there are some various other ones around the board okay and then finally for the track laying um there are in, in um, Ticket to Ride Europe, you have some of these black bordered tunnel spaces. And what you do is you say, you declare that that's where you wanna go, but you don't build. Tunneling is a unpredictable activity. What you must do is then reveal the top three cards of the deck. And now in this example, if I drawn any locomotive cards or any blue cards, in this example, I would increase the cost by that many cards. So my original example, I would be fine. I could place these, these track because I've got two and there's no additional cost. But if I have one additional blue in this pile, I'd have to give up a blue for my hand to do, to do the lay. Now I'd only score the number of trains. I don't get to score more because I've played more cards. Okay, and wild cards are worse in this case because they will count as any colour. So that will count as another blue. So I'd have to have, end up spending four. If I can't afford it, I can. I may take back these cards if I would like to. And then obviously I don't place these. Okay, so I waste my turn, but at least I don't lose the cards. Okay, so we've done picking up cards. We've done uh, building routes. The third thing you can do, and this is true, of every Ticket to Ride game is take more tickets. And so there's a part, there's a deck of these tickets and you draw three, and this will be your action for the turn. You draw three, but there's a risk here. You have to keep at least one. You can keep all three if you so choose, but you have to keep at least one. But remember, if you don't complete your routes at the end of the game, they are negative points. They're not worth zero, they're worth negative. Okay, so you can really, um, Put yourself in some dire straits there. Okay, and then finally, a specific rule for um, Tickets to Ride Europe is you can place your station markers. So, stations allow you to use someone else's route to fulfill your ticket. You place a station marker over the, over the route. The first station you play is one card, the second station you play is two of the same card, and the third station you play is three of the same cards, and you get to use that for scoring. Now, the thing, the, the thing to bear in mind is that at the end of the game, the stations are worth four points if you haven't used them. So you wanna be making sure that you're scoring at least more than four points by using the station, or you're giving up four points. Okay. That is, the final, that is it. The um, the scores will be totted up for the track as you go. The tickets will be scored at the end. Um, you will then get, the one player will then get 10 points, additional 10 points for their longest continuous route. Um, and you play until one player has two or fewer trains, and then every player, including that player, has one more turn. Okay, and then you tot up the scores, and that's it. That is Ticket to Ride.